Okay, the today what I want to highlight is this involves don't know how many million. One report alone is 29 million. What about in the rest of the country? So I say this possibly is the mother of all money game in Malaysia and involves not uh, 29 years old Lanjai Dato Sri no more. This involves a prominent professional CEO of our KLSE main board listed company. Who will not believe him? Take pictures with Prime Minister going signing MOU agreement in China in front of our cabinet minister doing road show throughout Malaysia. So I'm going to I'm going to write complaint letters to Bukit Aman number one and to Bank Negara number two and also to KOSE. Busa Malaysia. To Bukit Aman because this is money game, this is cheating, this is money, money fraud, investment fraud, and also bounce check. When I went, met the new commercial crime, <coughs> Bukit Aman head, Dato Amar Singh, I complained to him about bounce check. I said people now using fake checks, bounce check, stop payment checks, account close check, or old unused check to do business to cheat people. But when the victims lost police report, Police say, oh, this is a civil case. You go hire a lawyer so, to recover your damages. I said, no. This is cheating because they use it. Cannot pakai check to convince people to do the transaction. So this is cheating. Amar Singh told me, uh, it's very difficult. If only one check, it's very difficult. But if there are more checks, like a series of transactions by the same person, then we can go for him. So this is a series of transactions, 24 checks. Not two checks, 24 checks. But yet, the police did not go after the mastermind. Instead, the police now is going after the pengadu to ask him, Lu, macam mana datang ini, collect ini fund, 29 juta. You kena bagi tau, you kena declare. It's very unfair. And I'm going to complain to Bukit Aman also on uh, other than money flaw, investment, uh, Ponzi, cheating, yeah, that's about it. And I'm going to complain to Bank Nangara on all kind of uh, financial services act, anti uh, money laundering, and pyramid and all that. And to check this uh, that all the data is involved, all the data three and data involves their source of fund, whether they declare or they hide under money laundering. And I'm going to complain to KLSE. Not only the ethical, because they have the ethical regulation by KLSE on their board of directors. Not only that. If you look at the first police report, money went into a public listed company account. So I want KLSE to investigate whether these, uh, their members, companies, KLSE members' company, declare or explain this money transaction the purpose and what happened to this company and what, what happened to the money went into this company account 